Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be adding two new Hulk figures to our collection. These are both from the Marvel 80 Years set. They are both incredible Hulk figures and they are pretty tall figures and you can kind of tell by the boxes. These are huge boxes and I really like the artwork on both of these. We'll start out with this Hulk figure first and it looks like he just jumped up in the air and did a power smash to the ground and like shook the ground. That's kind of how I see it. Anyway, let's look at the rest of this box. It's just, you know, kind of a plain box, but what's inside, plain besides that really cool Hulk smash on the front. But anyway, here is the Hulk figure that we'll be unboxing today. It's a gray Hulk and it's super huge packaging and I'll do some size comparisons to other Hulk figures or other figures just to see how big of a figure this is. So here's a look at the back of the package. It looks like Hulk has been smashing some stuff. He has this left closed fist and then this hand is open a little bit. He has that ripped, torn orange shirt. Let's see what this has to say. It says the Incredible Hulk accidentally exposed to gamma radiation. Scientist Bruce Banner gains super strength, stamina, and invulnerability. At the cost of his genius, dubbed Hulk Banner at first only transforms at night before realizing that it's actually his anger that gives him his super abilities. He definitely looks angry. And here's a closer, more detailed look at the front of the package. It says Marvel 80 years, the Incredible Hulk at the top. And then there's Hulk off to the side and our Hulk figure. It says crushed pipe and ripped shirt. So. Somewhere in there. Okay, yep, there's that crushed pipe. All right, let's open this and check it out. Here it is, Hulk out of the package, and he comes with this crushed pipe. We'll check that out in a little bit. But first, we definitely have to check out our Hulk figure first. And as usual, Hulk looks super, super strong. And he has this orange ripped shirt that we can keep on or off. There's not much left of it because Hulk got so big and strong fast that I like just rip that shirt. So yeah, this is a pretty tall Hulk figure and let's check out his, okay, so he has just like in the picture that closed fist and an open hand. Looks like there's pretty good articulation to this so it can be po pretty highly posable. So he can move his elbows, his hands. It looks like he can Bend at the waist a little bit too, or the stomach area there. Here's a closer look at his face. Looks like his teeth are showing. And there's a pretty good amount of detail on his hands. So we can't open his hands up there in that stuck position there. And we'll check out his feet. So the feet can move a little bit, he can bend his knee just like that and we can move his foot up and down so that makes it for interesting action pose we'll get him in some kind of a I don't know like some kind of an action pose let me think of something that would be interesting here okay I have an idea I was trying to get his pose like the front of the package or the front of the box where he's doing that super smash down Hulk pose and it kind of looks like it so he has that fist pointing down like he's smashing towards the ground. And he's crouched down a little bit. I didn't want to force the pose too much because I didn't want to break the figure, which has happened before. I've kind of, you know, moved the figure around too much, a little bit more than I should have. And, you know, maybe the arm broke off or the leg or something. So this is just a really cool figure and I definitely didn't want any damage to it. So, but anyway, yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. And here's that crushed pipe. So it would initially probably look like this and then Hulk got his hands on it and crushed it. So it definitely would have taken a lot of strength to get this pipe crushed like it is. And not many people could do this. Hulk just one of the few probably. Let's take a look at our next Hulk figure. So we'll check out the box first. And just shows the Hulk. Incredible Hulk on the back like that and on the front it has Hulk in a different pose and this is a different Hulk figure so we're gonna use our imagination here it looks like Hulk is just like flying through the air 
ready to do a power smash with this right hand. Maybe knock into like a brick wall or something. Definitely have to show a close up of that. And here's a look at the packaging outside of the box. So we'll take a closer look at this before we unbox this. And it looks like this Hulk comes with a crushed pipe also. And so far it looks similar to the other one. And on the side, we'll look at the front of this package first. So we have the Hulk there. You can see his teeth. He's, he's doing that kind of angry Hulk look. Uh, just like the other figure. It says Marvel 80 years at the top. The Incredible Hulk in green. And there's Hulk ready to smash his way out of this package. And by the way, both of these figures are from 2018. That was the Marvel 80 years line that came out then. So there's, there's lots of different Marvel figures that came out in 2018 for that 80 years uh, tribute. And here's Hulk on the back. I really like the background there. It looks like some kind of trees. And there's that pipe on the ground. It looks like he crushed that already. Here's a closer look at Hulk with that background, which I just think looks really neat, really adds a lot to the design of the packaging. Let's read up a little bit about the Incredible Hulk. Fueled by his anger and powered by gamma radiation, Bruce Banner transforms into the super strong Hulk, smashing through anyone in his way. All right, let's get this unboxed and check it out. Here it is out of the package, and I've had both of these figures actually since 2018 ready to unbox, and this is really neat to be able to unbox these and check it out, or check them out. Here's that steel crushed pipe. It looks a little bit different than the other one, so that's cool. We have a little bit different look to these. The uh, Well, just a, a different finish. I think the crushed pipe itself is the same. Yeah, it looks like the same. So there's that. We'll set that aside and take a look at our Hulk figure. And I really like this Hulk figure. This is really neat. So he doesn't come with that uh, shirt like the other one. Um, just, you know, it comes with these purple ripped pants. And it looks like similar articulation and similar hand setup to the other Hulk that we just checked out. See so yeah, how we can bend the elbows a little bit, move these remove the hands on both sides and his head can turn all the way around 360 degrees there it is let's get a closer look at the Hulk and the Hulk's face yeah he definitely looks angry you can see his teeth yeah it looks like the feet are similar to the other Hulk figure there's some articulation there where we can, can't really move them side to side, but we can move them up and down. And here's a look at the back of the Hulk, super strong. And let's compare both of these side by side. So we'll stand this Hulk over here. And this one over here on that side. We'll get them looking straight up there we go and we'll put that crushed pipe next to him oh and this hulk actually needs to have this back on so yeah those look really neat together and just like i mentioned before in the beginning of the video let's do a size comparison just to see the size of these two figures compared to other hulk or superhero figures this Hulk is from the Steel Trap set, and it's much smaller. Let's get out our ruler to see how tall this Hulk is. So this one is almost 5 inches, and this Hulk is about 8.5 inches. And this one should be about the same height, too. See, so yeah, they're both really close to 8.5 inches tall. Okay, so this is kind of random, or really random here. Since I took this figure out, I was like, I gotta try doing the steel trap with this figure. So I figured I'd show everyone the steel trap again. We just put Hulk's arms in like that, and we're gonna watch Hulk break out of here. All right, that was awesome. Okay, we'll set this aside and get back on track to comparing some other Hulks. 
So we'll put this back here, this Hulk and our other Hulk figure. And we'll size comparison this Bruce Wayne Batman figure. This is a fairly tall figure I remember too. So yeah, you can just see that these two figures are, are much bigger and taller than this Batman figure. And I think it's not just that these figures, you know, are are kind of taller. It's the packaging too. It's It looks like more of a traditional action figure package, but just really big. So I think that made them look a little bit bigger too. Anyway, here's a Spider-Man figure. This is a Toy Biz Spider-Man figure. Right there. And these are definitely not the tallest Hulk figures we have. We have much, much taller Hulk figures. So let me grab a taller Hulk. These two Hulks are back to back. And this is the 12 inch Hulk. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be unboxing this Marvel Legends series, Compound Hulk. And I'm super excited to unbox this figure because Compound Hulk is one of my favorite figures. I have a ton of favorite figures, but this is definitely one of them. On the back of the box, we have Green Hulk and Red Hulk, and they combine or fuse together to form Compound Hulk. That's basically what it says here. It says Green Hulk and Red Hulk fuse to form Compound Hulk, a massive force powered by gamma radiation. Here's a look at our Compound Hulk out of the box. This is cool because it looks like the Green Hulk from this side, and on this side it looks like the Red Hulk. And then we turn it around, it's Compound Hulk. Compound Hulk was first introduced in a comic book in 2011, so he's a fairly new character. And right now he has his two closed fists, and this also comes with two open hands, so we can switch those out. Let's switch out this fist first, and we'll put the open hand in. See, so yeah, I could do one fist with an open hand or two fists or two open hands, however you really want. Um, let's switch this out. So this way he has two open hands. This way he can grab onto things. Since Compound Hulk hasn't been out for a really long time, there's not that many figures. I think in my collection, this is my fourth or fifth different Compound Hulk figure. I think between the open hands and fists, I like the fists the best. Here's a close-up of the Compound Hulk's face. Let's put a couple Build-A-Figure Hulks next to our Compound Hulk. Back to back, it looks like the Build-A-Figure Hulk is just a tiny bit taller. Here's our other Build-A-Figure Hulk back to back with our Compound Hulk and it is also just a little bit taller. Now that I've unboxed this Compound Hulk, it's made me want to go find as many different Compound Hulks that I can find. And I also want to collect Spider Hulks and Venomized Hulks. And once I get them, I'll definitely do reviews so everyone can see them. Hulk Smash! It's the Twist and Slam Hulk with collapsible brick wall. Here's a look at the back of the package and it shows Twist and Slam Hulk slamming through a brick wall. And there's also some other cool Hulk figures that we can collect within the set. Check it out, Hulk is doing a super smash through the brick wall. Here's a look at our Hulk out of the package and I decided to keep this because I thought it looked really cool, the Hulk nameplate that was on the front of the package. So here's the brick wall and our new Hulk figure. Let's check out our new Hulk figure first. Hulk looks super angry and ready to knock down the brick wall. Hulk, I know you want to knock down this brick wall, but we have to finish our review first. So as usual, Hulk looks super strong. And he has two closed fists, and there's a lot of articulation here. We can move his elbows and his knees, and his feet can move a little bit too. And what's really cool about this, that's why it's called the twist and slam, is he can twist and he can smash and slam into the wall. So you can just twist this way, we can't twist him that way. And we can also get him to move his arm. So now he's doing that smashing motion. He's twisting at the same time. Here's a look at the brick wall that Hulk is just about ready to knock down. All right, Hulk is ready to smash the brick wall. Here it goes. 
We'll have Hulk try it again and let's put the brick wall back together so they just fit together like puzzle pieces, basically. So this will go here and then this piece goes right there. And this piece will go right there. So yeah, this is definitely like a puzzle. Okay, this time Hulk is going to try it from the other side. Hulk is going to do a twist and slam. Here it goes. Hulk just totally smashed through that brick wall. That was awesome. I forgot to mention this figure is from 2003, so it's already a collectible figure. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out part of my Build-A-Figure collection. We have a couple different Thanos figures. We have Sandman, Gladiator Hulk, and Rhino. Our first figure we'll build today is Build-A-Figure Gladiator Hulk. We we'll start out by putting Gladiator Hulk's head on first. That's a good start to building a figure. And we'll get his arms put on next. So we have his right arm there and next Gladiator Hulk's left arm. And we'll go over his Gladiator uniform in a little bit, but let's first get him built put together. And both of his legs are now on. Here's our Build-A-Figure Gladiator Hulk all put together and complete. So yeah, you can see all of his Gladiator Hulk armor on. He has the shoulder pad armor that way he can block sword strikes or different kind of strikes. Just kind of lean the shoulder in there and block it. He also has some side armor on on this side with some spikes coming out of it a little bit. So yeah, overall pretty cool armor and a really neat figure. I always like the Gladiator Hulk figures. Cool. Alright, next up let's check out Sandman. Here's our Sandman figure. What's cool about this figure is he comes with this wrecking ball hand. So this is the Wrecking Ball Sandman hand. We get the open hand. And we get a Sandman fist with some sand spikes coming out of it. And we also get this one. It's like a sledgehammer type of sand hand. Uh, let's start up by putting this one on. So that looks really cool with the sledgehammer there. And we'll put this fist right there. We can try out the Wrecking Ball one. I think the Wrecking Ball is definitely one of my favorites also. That's the Wrecking Ball hand. We'll actually leave this one on. And on this side, let's take off the sledgehammer hand and let's put the open claw hand on. I think this one looks really cool. And of course, we need to put Sandman's head on. There's a closer look at Sandman. We'll move these aside and let's put his legs on next. Here's Sandman all put together. Some of these build a figures stay together really well and some don't as much and there can be many reasons for that. Sometimes they have been put together and taken apart so many times that they just don't want to snap together as well. But yeah, this is a really cool figure. Definitely a neat build a figure, Sandman. All right, next up, since we have two Thanos figures to put together, Let's put a Thanos figure together next. And here's Thanos. Let's start off by putting Thanos' head on. There's Thanos. And let's put his gauntlet arm on. And this Thanos snaps into place really well so far. And there's that Infinity Gauntlet. And let's take this arm and put it on. Yeah, it definitely snaps in a lot easier than our Sandman figure did. And his legs going pretty well too. So yeah, this is a cool Thanos figure, really neat. I definitely like that he has the gauntlet in his left hand there, that's really cool. Here's another look at our Thanos figure all put together. He has some really cool, powerful armor. And he definitely needs all of that powerful armor for all of his battles and for battling against Hulk. We'll put Thanos aside, and next, so we have two Build-A-Figures left to build. Let's build Rhino next. So here's Rhino, and let's put Rhino's head in first. 
So all these Build-A-Figures, this is part of my Build-A-Figure collection. I still have a lot more, so we'll definitely do Build-A-Figure collection part one, part two, part three, and probably many more to go on after that. Here's Rhino all put together. A really cool Rhino figure. Kind of basic and simple, but not. It's just, I don't know, a really cool figure. I like it. He has a shoulder armor there. It looks like he's doing a closed fist hand on each side. And Rhino, as usual, looks super strong. Here's our last Build-A-Figure in this collection to put together today. And it's Thanos, our second Thanos figure. This Thanos figure has a gauntlet in his left hand again. Let's compare it to this one. So it looks really similar, a little bit different but very similar. So let's put his left arm on and his head. And next we'll put his legs on. And there's Thanos complete. And Thanos has a lot of armor on again. This Thanos figure actually looks like he has more armor on than the other one. He has the head armor on. And he also has more armor on in general with his shoulder armor, front armor, just a bunch of very powerful armor to go against the superheroes. Now that we've built all of our Build-A-Figure figures, let's put them over here we'll line them all up so first we have Thanos we'll put our other Thanos over here we have Sandman and Hulk and lastly we have Rhino we'll put Rhino right here on the end and here's all the Build-A-Figures Welcome back everyone, in today's video we'll be going back in time and unboxing this incredible Hulk playset. The name of this set is Breakout Steel Body Trap Action Playset and it comes with this steel body trap and a Hulk figure. I can get a little closer look at what that looks like there and our Hulk figure is inside. This is a Toy Biz playset figure set from 1997. I am super excited to add this new Hulk figure to our Hulk collection. This Hulk figure has an orange vest, purple shorts, and looks really awesome. Cannot wait to check that out. And here's the Breakout Steel Body Trap Action Playset. Looks like there's heavy duty techno trap details on it, uh, wrist grip handcuffs, headlock harness, and of course our figure. Here's some other figures and sets that we can collect. There's this really cool Raging Hulk. It's an 8-inch posable figure. And I actually do have that one already, but it would be really cool to unbox that again for everyone and show that figure. There's this incredible Hulk with breakout containment unit. That looks really cool. And there's some other really neat figures to collect. Oh, that's cool. Battle Damaged Hulk. Definitely have to get that with the Breakaway Lab. It looks like there's a timer for breakout action. I've seen that with other Toy Biz Hulk play sets from around this time where you set the timer and then Hulk breaks out of the set. And another thing about this is this box is in super good condition. So I'm going to be really careful opening it. That way I don't damage the box. Because I think this box I'll actually keep and, and hold on to it just because it's in such nice condition. It looks super awesome. Before I unbox this, I just wanted to show everyone this price tag, $4.97. So it has that vintage, old, like, 1990s price tag, this orange price tag. And it looks like it was probably on clearance or on sale at one time because they just didn't sell all of them. It's really interesting how these were clearance or on really big sales at one time because they just weren't selling. Now they've become a collectible collector item. Okay, so it looks like so far this was truly sealed. Everything is intact. The tape on the sides was intact too. I just untaped it and did that. So yeah, this is definitely being unboxed for the first time. 
I don't know about you, but when I unbox something like this, it's just, for the first time, it's like unboxing a treasure. It's just super cool. All right, so there it is. The box is now empty. And we have this cardboard filler just to keep the set from moving around. And a first look at our Hulk figure. That is super awesome. So in the picture, it looked more like an orange vest, but it's uh, turned out to be more of a yellow vest. So I don't know if it was light or exposure to sun that turned it that way, or if it's just a, a variation or something. I don't know, but either way, it looks cool. And this is a new figure for our collection. Definitely is with the yellow vest that's torn, has these purple shorts and the Hulk boots. It looks like he broke out of the left boot there, which is interesting. All right, we'll set that aside, and our set is in here. Usually I just rip the packages open, but this one I'm going to take my time a little bit more and kind of gently unbox it. That way we can preserve the packaging as best as possible. So there's the set. And there we go. This is empty inside. Now I'll set that aside. That way I can... If I want to store it in the box, I can, which I'm not sure if I'll store it in the box or just keep it separate like this or keep it out for display because it just looks so cool. That is awesome. That is really cool. So I'll give everyone a look around this set here. It's some kind of, I don't know what that was. Something kind of coming out of the plastic there. There we go. Almost looks like fur or something. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Okay, so there's that, and then we'll open this, and I'll gently open this too so I don't wreck the bag. Or at least wreck it too much. Okay, we didn't even need scissors for that, so that's cool. And we'll take this out of the bag. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so I don't think we need to look at instructions here. This should probably just go like this. So we can snap that into place, and then this part can go here, and then this part goes down. Yeah, there we go. So pretty simple how it works. Here's a look at our Hulk figure out of the package, and he looks super awesome and super strong as usual. I like that yellow torn vest that he has with the purple shorts with this boot where he's, his feet are coming out of the boot. I think that looks super cool. And I really like collecting and getting old sets like I, I like everything to do with toys the old stuff the new stuff but there's just so many different things out there to collect and I think this is really cool so there is this on the back we can press here and his arms should go up let's give that a try okay so it looks like his left arm just went up and now his right one when I put it up let's see if we can get them both to go up at the same time I think that's how it should work Okay, so we got the left arm to go up. It looks like this right arm wants to go up, but it's just, it's not exactly going up. And it might be because of the age of the toy. I mean, this is from 1997. It's been in the package the entire time. But I still think he might be able to break out of the play set. Let's take a closer look at the steel body trap before we put Hulk in it. So it looks like this is the heavy duty techno trap and it does show all the details there which there's a lot of them. And it does look like it's super powerful and strong. And there's the back of it. it looks like this is the timer. Yeah. I'm not sure if the timer will work but we'll give it a try in a little bit. So again the other side you can see all the details. And then on the front we have these wrist grip handcuffs which are interesting. Kind of moves a little bit. Maybe we kind of need to move things around a little bit just because it hasn't been moved in such a long time. And of course we have this headlock harness right here also. Let's put Hulk on this steel body trap. So we'll put him right here on the platform and press down. This should lock into place, which it just did. And next what we'll do is move this timer over. And it looks like it kind of works. So with these timers over age in a long period of time they'll either not work at all or they'll work really well or somewhere in the middle and I think this one is somewhere in the middle it's not completely not working so it's like right in the middle 
Okay, that kind of stopped it a little bit. And that's what we wanted to do is to stop the timer a little bit that way. We can, okay, it just went off on its own. We'll redo that, but you, you kind of see how it's going to work a little bit now. But we'll redo some of the beginning steps here, pressing Hulk down, move the timer over a little bit. See, if the timer isn't locked in place, these don't close, so it has to be moved over a little bit. Okay, I think it should work this time. Get Hulk's arms in place. I have a feeling this will work this time. Or at least I hope it will. Okay, and let's put this carefully over Hulk. I'm sure this worked much better when it first came out, like many, many years ago in 1997. Okay, so there it is with Hulk. Inside that steel body trap. We'll get a look all the way around. All right, here it goes, everyone. Let's watch Hulk break out of here. That was really awesome. Let's try that again. All right, so let's get this set up, and there we go. That's just where we need it. We'll press this down. Do this kind of gently so that timer won't go off before it's supposed to. Okay, that's locked into place. Okay, so far this is going really well and smooth. Oh no, is this going to close? Okay, we're having a little problem with this closing. All right, we got it everyone, ready to go again. We'll get this timer going. Cool, that was awesome. I could do this so many more times. All right, let's do it one more time. We just got to do it one more time to make it three times because this is so awesome. Now that's working a little bit better. Get that timer set and let's put this here. Push Hulk down. So we're getting the hang of this working a lot quicker now. There it goes. All right, the last part, let's see if this works. Okay, so far so good. We're doing it. Okay, so for some reason, okay, there we go, we got it. We're good to go. All right, let's get at a different angle. We'll see it from this side now. Okay, that time Hulk didn't like fly up in there. Did I not press down? Maybe I didn't press down, so that means we're gonna do it another time. As you can see, we're having a ton of fun with this here. Okay, we gotta get Hulk to fly out of the steel body trap. Okay, this part. This is the part that's not been working so well, so. Oh, there we go. I think it just needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Okay, we got it and we are ready to go again. Alright, Hulk didn't fly out of the trap this time, but at least he broke out. So we'll move this aside, Hulk jumps out, there we go. And now Hulk is ready to go. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be adding some new Hulk toys to our Hulk collection. We have this Lego Hulk mech armor. It has 138 pieces. It comes with this mech robot and a Hulk minifigure. And right here we have some of the Avengers. And there's a closer look at the mech robot on the back. Here's all the pieces this set comes with. We'll get this built and check it out in a little bit, but next let's move on to a Hulk figure. The first figure we'll check out and review is this Legends Marvel Hulk. And this is Series 1 and it's the Canadian version. There's two different versions that I know of and the Canadian version comes with this gold bordered poster. There's a closer look at that poster, but we will also look at when it's out of the box. And on the back of the package, it shows some other figures we can collect within this set. It looks like there's at least four figures within this set. And as we look closer on the back, it looks like this figure is from 2002. 
Here's a look at this Hulk figure and the accessory it comes with. So we'll check out the Hulk figure first and put this accessory aside. And this is our new Hulk and I really like it. I mean, Hulk looks super angry and super strong as usual. And I can already tell there's a lot of articulation with this figure. So we can definitely twist this figure at the waist and he can bend up and down and his feet move. I mean, just tons of articulation. Looks like his knees even can bend a little bit and that will get us the ability to get him into a super action pose. Here's a closer look at the Hulk and his face and yeah, he is beyond angry. You can see his teeth and his green Hulk eyes. Lots of detail on this figure also. Now we'll check out the accessory and this happens to be a broken wall that the Hulk just smashed. And he definitely smashed through right through the center of that wall. So you can just imagine Hulk taking his Hulk hand and smashing right through that wall which he did. So yeah, that looks really cool. I like how these go together. And actually what we can do, there's foot pegs there so we can place the Hulk's foot right here and the other one on the other side. We can have Hulk facing this way. It looks like he's showing or guarding that wall that he smashed through. Or we can turn around the other side. And this also looks really interesting here. Let's get his arms and hands over here. So it looks like he just smashed the wall on from this side now. So yeah, that looks really neat. We also have this poster. I wasn't sure if it was a fold-out poster or exactly how it would look, but it's it's just how it is right there. It doesn't unfold. So it's how it looked when it was in the package. And it looks like there's Hulk smashing through the wall. It's a really cool artwork on there. I do like the gold borders. I think that looks really neat. I also have these two Hulk figures that are in the background. And we'll add these to the Hulk figure collection. So as we go on, we'll add more and more figures to the Hulk collection and we'll do another super big Hulk review. And this one's really neat because we can press this button and Hulk will talk. Hulk smash! Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Leave Hulk alone! Ah! Hulk want to be left alone! It sounds like Hulk wants to be left alone, so we'll make this review of this Hulk quick. So what's really neat about this is we can move his arms up like this, and then Hulk will do some smashing action. This Hulk figure on the left is a really tall Hulk figure because this one over here is a 12-inch figure, so I'm thinking this one's probably like 15 to 18 inches tall, so it's uh, quite a bit taller. It has a lot of articulation too for the size of this Hulk figure. And next we'll check out this Hulk figure. So this is the 12 inch Hulk figure. Just kind of a simple basic figure, but really neat still. There's a little bit of articulation, meaning that we can twist his wrists all the way around. We can move his legs, his arms up and down. And let's see if we can twist his head. His head does move a little bit. So yeah, a little bit of movement on the head. And there's a closer look at this Hulk figure. Next up, we have the Hulk fists. And they're not just any fists, they're the Gamma Grip fists. So let's get this unboxed and check these out. So it looks like we'll have to use some scissors to cut right here to get these out. We'll be, have to be careful because we don't want to actually cut this part here, which can happen. We have the Hulk hands out of the package. We have a left hand and a right hand. So here's a closer look at both Hulk hands or Hulk fists. And the inside, where we can put our hands inside. And we can move the fingers, all four fingers move together, so we can't move the fingers individually, which would be really neat if we could, but we can move the thumb individually or separately like that. And on this right hand we can do the same. And move the thumb. And then we can make that fist.
Next up we have the Hulk mech armor, and here's Hulk in his mech armor grabbing onto the steel beam. Like it doesn't weigh anything, this is probably a super heavy steel beam. So we'll take that out of the hand, that way we can take a closer look at this Hulk and his mech robot. So we'll start with the feet. So we can move these feet, the feet around and there's different shades of green which is really cool, I like how that looks, and the purple Hulk shorts. And we can move the fingers on this. Looks like there's one, two, three, four fingers. And, and we can move them, which is really neat. That way we can grab onto this steel beam. And there's Hulk inside controlling or operating this mech robot. And we can take Hulk out of here just like that. And he's sitting right there. And let's take Hulk out of this mech and let's take a closer look at Hulk. So Hulk right here has that smiling, smiley face Hulk, but we can quickly turn him around to more of the angry Hulk. And then we'll put his hair back on. The angry Hulk is more of the battle ready Hulk. Let's get Hulk back in his mech robot. So we're just gonna set him down just like this. And then we can close this, and let's check out, check out the back of the robot. So there it is, the Hulk mech armor. Welcome back everyone, in today's video we'll be checking out this Marvel Avengers Endgame Nano Gauntlet Hulk. Here's a look at the back of the package, and it shows our new Hulk figure with that Nano Gauntlet on his right hand. Here's our new Hulk figure out of the package, and I'm super excited to get this Hulk figure because we can add it to the collection. And it looks like Hulk is wearing an awesome suit. Here's a close-up of the Hulk, and this is a pretty cool sculpt. And it looks like Hulk can move his head side to side. And we can actually move his head all the way around. And his arms move back and forth and we can bend his elbows a little bit too they're a little bit tight but we can move these hands and he comes with several alternate hands right now he's in the fist position looks like he's doing a Hulk smash and as you can see this Hulk can do the splits so he has that splits action let's see how far we can move his legs in the front splits motion so not quite as well but he does have a little bit of bend to his knees like that and then we can also move his feet just like that. I like how we can adjust the feet and the legs that way we can get Hulk in an action pose and it looks like right now he's doing a double smash. So yeah he has both of these fists here and we can actually take his hands off or these fists off. They're a little bit tricky to take off the first few times but after a while they get easier. And what we're going to do is switch out this hand this is his left hand. So there's several different hands we can put on this figure. So three different options total. Here's a closer look at the open hands. And it looks like this hand is kind of pointing a little bit. Let's check out the next Hulk hands option. Here's the next Hulk hands option. It looks like he has both of his hands open. And he's trying to do a Hulk grab. Now it's time to check out my favorite option, and this is the Nano Gauntlet. So we're going to take off Hulk's right hand, and actually we're going to take off his forearm too. So we can move that, or take that off, and then we're going to put this on. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite option. That looks super, super awesome. And I also switched out his left hand back to the fist. I think that looks really awesome with the Nano Gauntlet. So here's a closer look at the Gauntlet. Looks super awesome. Let's get even a closer look. Yeah, that is definitely super, super awesome. And I do like that closed fist on his left hand. He's doing that Hulk smash action right there. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this Transformers Crossovers Hulk. This is going to be super exciting because it's taking Hulk, which is awesome, and Transformers, which is awesome, 
and combining them. Here's a look at the back of the package. It shows Hulk right there and then it transforms into a tank. We totally have to get another look at the back of the package because it just looks so awesome and it's probably going to look even more awesome once we get this out of the package and check it out. So again, there's Hulk and the tank that Hulk transforms into. There's also more we can collect within this set. There's Iron Man, Venom, and Spider-Man. I'll definitely have to get all of those. And by the way, we do already have Venom, so that'll come in a later video, but definitely have to get that Spider-Man and Iron Man also. Here it is out of the package in tank mode. And this is from 2008. It's become a really neat collectible kind of vintage figure already. Or I guess it's not quite a figure yet because it's in vehicle mode, but we'll soon transform it and get it into the figure Hulk robot mode. So we're just getting a look at all like this whole tank, which is just super cool. You can see Hulk's head right there. And it can roll a little bit just like that. All right, let's get this transformed. So right here we have the Hulk arms. And the Hulk legs, we'll just separate these just like that. There you can see Hulk's head. We'll get that out. And there's that Hulk robot head. And we can even make a Hulk fist right here. We'll just twist this into place, get that thumb on the outside. That way you can do some Hulk smashing action. And let's do that on the other side also. So we'll get the Hulk fist ready to go over here. And on both sides it can do smashing action just like that. Then we'll get his Hulk legs ready to go here, or the Hulk feet, and kind of the Hulk legs also. We can also open up some of these side panels here. We can do that on the other side also. There it is, the Hulk robot. We'll take a look at it all the way around. Get this brought back out. This piece kind of slides back in easily. But yeah, this looks really neat. So you can have these panels open or closed, whatever you like with it. I think it looks cool either way. But overall, I think I kind of like it where it's more closed like that. It just looks pretty cool. We'll see that power swing, power punch action again that the Hulk can do. And on both sides. And we can open and close these hands like we were showing before. Now let's transform Hulk back into tank mode. And by the way, this is going to make an awesome addition to the Hulk collection. So I'm getting these panels kind of just put back in place. There we go, we'll get the feet put back in place also. Let's tuck Hulk's head back in here. Now we can finish transforming the robot into tank mode and there's lots of pieces that will snap into place coming up here. So we'll turn this tank around and snap these two place pieces in together. There we go, got those lined up and these end pieces here. There it is, back into tank mode. Tank mode, robot mode. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we have some Build-A-Figures. Over here, we have the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure. And on this side, we have our new, totally awesome Hulk Build-A-Figure. And here's some other Build-A-Figures that we've already checked out. 
Let's start off by building this Hulkbuster figure. We've already built this before, so we won't spend too much time on it. Basically how it works is a Build-A-Figure comes with a bunch of different pieces, and we put them together to build the figure. So first up, we'll take the Hulkbuster body and put on its leg to start with. Next, we'll snap in the other leg. We're part way there with the legs on. Now we have to put the arms on. So let's start out by putting on the Hulkbuster's right arm just snaps into place just like that. And the other arm snaps into place. And lastly, the Hulkbuster head snaps into place. There it is, the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure. Next up, we have our Hulk Build-A-Figure. This is the totally awesome Amadeus Cho Hulk Build-A-Figure. Let's start building it by starting with the body. And this time we'll build it from the arms on down. So we'll put this arm on our Hulk figure. Next, we'll put on the left arm. This is already looking awesome. So we'll get his right leg on next and just push it in until you hear that snapping into place. There we go. And the next leg, the other leg, let's push that into place. And lastly, the totally awesome Hulk head. That is totally awesome. And how we collect each part of this figure to build the Build-A-Figure is each Marvel Legends figure from this series comes with one piece of the Hulk. And there's seven different figures to collect that will help us make up this totally awesome Hulk. And the seven figures to collect within that set are Captain Marvel, Photon, Miss Marvel, Marvel Boy, Karnak, Iron Man, and Commander Rogers to make all seven figures. So here's a closer look at this figure. Really neat addition to our Hulk collection and our Build-A-Figure collection. I really like the bright green of this figure. It looks really neat. And Hulk has the purple shorts, a little bit of uh, black and a gold belt. Lots of articulation so we can get this into a really neat action pose, which I'll definitely do. So let's get Hulk into an action pose. He's in this lunging forward fighting position. Here's a look at all the Build-A-Figures. So this isn't the entire collection, but it's part of it. These are some of my favorite Build-A-Figures. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out a bunch of different Hulks. A lot of these are Pop Hulks. This is Hulk and Bruce Banner. Next up we have Mech Strike Robotic Hulk. And we have another Bobblehead Hulk. And check this out. This is Hulk in a can. Gladiator Hulk in a can. And lastly, we have Immortal Hulk. Let's definitely check this out first. Have you ever seen a Hulk figure inside of a can like this? This is really interesting. So there's the Gladiator Hulk on the side. That's what our figure will look like. And it says, find the chase. So these are limited edition, 15,000. So that's not, that's not a ton. All right, let's open the plastic seal around here. All right, so let's check out our figure. And what we do is just peel it off like this. And our figure's in here. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, we have like this Hulk disc. You found the chase, Gladiator Hulk with helmet. One of 2,500, cool. So this is the chase, must be the chase inside. Oh yeah, it is. Awesome. We got the Gladiator Hulk. Cool. That's a really neat figure. That's awesome. So Gladiator Hulk. That's really neat with this helmet. I like the Gladiator helmet that he has. That's awesome. And here's a look inside that can again. Super cool. We'll definitely keep all this together. And let's actually, well, we'll keep our Hulk figure out of the can. We'll just put the cover back on. 
Next, let's check out the Immortal Hulk. Here it is on the side, number 840. 840, we got the Hulk figure on the back there. Wow. Almost looks like it would be glow in the dark. I don't think it is though. It doesn't say anything on here that it is. But let's open this and check it out. Wow, there it is. It's a bobblehead figure. Definitely has a bobblehead to it. So it doesn't say that it glows in the dark, but you know, this kind of has this glow in the dark look to it. It'd be really neat if it did. We're gonna definitely try it out and see if it does glow. All right, let's turn out the lights and see if it glows. All right, lights are out and it doesn't glow. Let's set this Hulk back here. And all these will definitely add to the Hulk collection. All right, next up we have this Red Hulk figure, Hot Topic exclusive, Pop Marvel Red Hulk. See the back there, number 854. All right, let's open it up and check it out. So typically I save these boxes, but with these I don't know if I will because I'm gonna display them and add them to the Hulk collection so they won't be in the box. I might save them anyway though, we'll see. So anyway, here's the red Hulk figure with these yellow eyes. He has his mouth open and it looks like he's kind of clenching his hands, his fists together, and then this other hand, his right hand is an open hand with his gray pants that have turned into shorts because he turned into the Hulk. And again, it's a bobblehead type figure. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we'll set this one over here onto our next figure. So we'll save the Bruce Banner and Hulk figure for last, and next we'll check out this Mech Strike Mech Robotic Hulk. We'll check out the back first. So it shows Hulk right there. It shows Captain America, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Hulk, and Thor. So there's six, at least in this set, and this is 833, so cool. All right, let's open this and check it out. Extra Hulk. And it's another bobblehead Hulk. This is cool, it's kind of different than a lot of the others we open up, it's a robot type Hulk. In the 90s they started doing, actually it was more like early 2000s, started doing robotic, robot mech Hulks. And this is newer than that. This is actually a lot newer than that, but I'm um, glad to see that there's still robot hulks being made. All right, now on to our last figure. So we have, here it is. Kind of zoom out a little bit, get the camera angled and ready. Okay, so this is the Hulk and Bruce Banner. It's an exclusive collector figure. Number 284, there's Bruce Banner, turns into Hulk. Cool, so this is the first appearance of Hulk comic book. This is from the 1960s. So this figure and set and Hulk, the both figures are, are meant to look kind of like the originals, the first appearance. So this is like the first, you know, we would see of Hulk back then, like an introduction, which is really cool. All right, let's see a little closer look how the First Hulk and first Bruce Banner team looks together. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Okay, so we have, let's check out Bruce Banner first. So Bruce Banner has his lab coat on, his pants, and his glasses. And he has a bobblehead. And things go wrong, or do they go wrong? And he turns into Hulk. That is really cool. This is really neat to have like a first appearance Hulk in the collection. I'd like to have more of these like first appearance looking Hulks in the collection, which we do have some. Just neat to see how like Hulk has changed over the years. So it looks like his hair is kind of different. His hairstyle has definitely changed over the years from kind of like combed down to more of this wavier or like spike, spiky kind of hair in a way. I don't know, it just looks a little bit different. 
And definitely the outfit he's wearing looks different. And we can't forget it's a bobblehead. And he has his both hands open, kind of has this like concerned, like what's going on kind of look. Not sure what's going on. I mean, he just turned into the Hulk, so he's probably confused for the first time. That's cool. All right, let's set all these up next to each other. That way we can take a look at the entire collection together. Okay, starting over on the far left side, working our way over all of the figures we checked out today. These will definitely make a good addition to the Hulk collection. I'm going through these slow, but they're really worth it to go through slow. I think they're just super neat. You know what? They're so cool. Let's go through them again. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.